Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so all mine. First of all, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash. Second, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that teach and rule well today. In citation also to the fellow laborers and the believers that scattered worldwide, that's of the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Okay, I'm going to get into a lesson today. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midness Camp. Once again, this message and these videos go out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, and also to the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the heathen nations, and it may look like your typical heathen of another nation, but if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you consider it Israelite as well, according to the um, bloodline and of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So shalom to you brothers and sisters that's worldwide, and that is all in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Okay, shalom. So basically, I'm going to just get into a quick lesson, and basically the title of the lesson is going to be the chariots of destruction slash salvation. Okay, and I'll start off with the scripture in Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, going into the clouds, okay, which is symbolic for the chariots or what the world known as so called UFOs, okay? And they are which they're rich, which they are really the angels and how Yahweh Shai, who the world called Christ. How he's going to return in the uh, of his second coming as we're approaching that here in the last days, okay? And that's why you're seeing plagues are coming upon the earth. That's why you're seeing this place, America, Babylon the Great, is going down. The, the biblical Edomites, which is the so called white race, starting to move forward with their NWO, okay, and bringing down their strict legislations on the people, on the world, okay? But the end all, the be all, that in all actuality, according to biblical prophecy, that Yahweh Shai is going to return and destroy these nations, okay, against the, uh, the fight against the military and to bring Esau, Edom, and these heathen nations out of power and at the same time deliver the elect, the 144,000 and the one third from out of that destruction that the Lord is going to bring. Because ultimately, this place of America is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles. And also by the chariots, the so-called UFOs, when the Lord bring war to these nations during the time of World War III. So I'm just going to touch on a couple of scriptures going into how the Lord is going to bring destruction when he come back and bring salvation only to the elect of those of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, the elect of Israel. Okay, and I'm going to read Revelation chapter 1, verse 7 again. And it, and it says, behold, he cometh with clouds. And once again, those clouds are so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, okay, the angels, and how Yahweh Shah is going to return. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so all mine, okay? And it says what? Well, all kindreds of the earth shall well. Once again, Yahweh Shah is coming back to bring destruction. He's coming to cause or bring judgment on majority of the people here on the earth, more than the more than the people that's going to be saved. Because the elect, another way of saying it, is a remnant. Okay, because according to the scriptures, not only that the Lord is coming down, coming back to take down his adversaries, his enemies, starting with Esau, Edom, but he also coming back to bring judgment upon two thirds. Of the wicked of Israel, okay, by the way of those chariots and those th thermonuclear missiles, okay, that's going to completely destroy America, and that's biblical prophecy, man. And we're approaching the time of World War Three, because that's going to be the, the the time or the climax of that war, 
at the peak of that war, that's when Yahweh Shai is going to make his second coming, man. Okay? So let's say that all, all the earth, all kindreds of the earth shall, uh, shall mourn. Okay? And shall well because of him. And not what Christianity teaches, because they teach that who the world calls Christ, that if anybody believe in him, all people can be saved. Okay, not so, man. The Lord is coming back to bring destruction by the way of those chariots and those nuclear missiles. Now, let me get this. This is the book. Uh, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Okay, and that's what the Lord will come with, with fire by those nuclear missiles. And those chariots, okay? And those chariots is going to be shooting out what? Concentrated fire, which is known as laser beams. And, you know, and these Hollywood directors amongst these phony Jews, okay, or Esau Edom, these Hollywood directors, they give you a picture of that through their movies, okay? Such as Independence Day, uh, War of the Worlds, okay, Mars Attack, um, well, that was the uh, the Battle of Los Angeles. All these different so-called alien invasion movies, okay, they really script that, okay, from the Holy Scriptures, okay? Because these 48ers, they know, man. They know the, the true coming of Yahweh Shai and how he's going to return. They know about the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, and that they are the angels. But they depict them as little green creatures or gray creatures. Okay, but the angels are actually uh, uh, men in the angelic form and so-called black men at that. And the Lord Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man himself. Okay, from the tribe of Judah, which the, the Judah, okay, go back to the so-called Negroes uh, today. Or the Negroes go back to the tribe of Judah today. Okay, so when Yahweh Shai returns, he's coming back to bring fire. Okay, with those chariots. And Esau knows, man. That's why you see him um, in normal, more of UFO sightings that people recording and, and putting it out on in public or on social media or the news going into it. The Pentagon going into how the so-called UFOs, more and more sightings uh, that it's a, a threat, okay, to hu humanity, okay? And it, it is. Because all actuality, that's Yahweh Shai and the angels. And you're starting to see more and more chariot sightings. Another sign of Yahweh Shai's second coming. But he's going to make his grand, grand entrance in the time of World War III, man, to bring destruction. And it says, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Okay, now the word plead there means to judge. Okay? By the way of his, those chariots and ultimately, okay, those thermonuclear missiles as well, that's going to bring fire, man. And it says what? Continue on. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So it's going to be a, it's going to be many people that's going to be put to death. Okay, a lots of, of casualties, man. When Yahweh shall return to bring that final judgment here upon the earth, mainly to America, Babylon the Great, for all the wickedness that this, this place uphold, man. Okay, so this place got ju judgment set for it, and we are in the beginning stage of that. Cause right before Yahweh shall bring the ultimate judgment okay the fire by the chariots and those thermonuclear missiles that can completely destroy this place we enter into the time of now of jacob's trouble when all hell is about to break loose that's why you're seeing uh food shortages okay which is famine pestilence uproars of the people civil unrest the time of coming of martial law okay the pushing of these jabs soon to be the what they really want to implement the RFID, okay, which is the MOTB, which is in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And those of our people, or you Israelites, that receive that MOTB, you're going to be destroyed. 
by the way of those thermonuclear missiles and the chariots, okay? Those so-called UFOs, Yahweh Shai and the angels, okay? And that's written in Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. So we're approaching that time, man. We're in the time of the implementing of the MOTB and, and, the, and the time of the, the last war, World War III. All that, all of it is biblical prophecy, man. So that's it on that. And that's why you're seeing many UFO sightings daily. Okay, brothers constantly putting up videos of UFO sightings, the chariots being seen here in America, being seen in different parts uh, of the earth. Okay, and they they put so much uh, their power on display. Okay, that you getting brothers uh brothers uploaded videos of chariots or no more chariots in, uh, of one, in one site man okay recently you had a brother upload a video of an edomite that caught in no more chariots okay on his on his phone man okay thousands and thousands of chariots man and that's how yahweh shah is going to return man he's going to come in at the big chariot what we call the fathership the main chariot and the armies behind him, which is going to be innumerable chariots, man. Okay, as you can see, uh, different UFO sightings of these different videos, man. That's Yahweh Shah showing the signs that he's on the verge of his second coming, man. And we're just waiting for the Heavenly Father to give him that go. And we know that it's in the time of prophecy that these plagues must happen before Yahweh Shah really get the you know get that ultimate green light to return to bring judgment. And as well, to bring salvation to the elect. Because the elect is going to be delivered out of that destruction from those thermonuclear missiles. Okay, mainly the elect that's going to be over here on the shores of America. Because <clears throat> that's the only way you're going to be delivered from those missiles and from the fire that the Lord is going to bring, from the judgment that the Lord is going to bring. Okay, by being beamed up into those chariots. And that's the great miracle work that the Lord is going to do for his elect. Now, let me get this. I'm going to go to the book of Psalms. Chapter 68, verse 17. And it says, the chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Kind. So the point is that the, when the Lord returns, he's going to come back with innumerable chariots, man. Okay, as the scripture says, what? 20,000, even thousands of angels represent those so-called UFOs, the chariots. And as I make mention, you have brothers and other individuals, okay, uh, that people all around the world catching these so-called UFO sightings and posting them up on social media. And, it, and, these, and these chariots are coming into more and more uh, of innumerable numbers, okay? And they're doing all type of uh, 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 unbelievable works or uh, movements you got chairs out there that can go at top speed okay that esau can't even fan them okay they enlarge they can enlarge themselves or they can make themselves small okay or they can re disappear reappear going inside of water okay you got you got videos that certain militaries shooting their uh, missiles at them and it's going through them or they're invading or uh, invading it or, or you know uh dodging them okay because the, the 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 power that yahweh is about to come with is not going to be of of the carnal level as majority of these heathens uh military okay and these nations got you know they military they got their fighter jets okay they got their their tanks they got their missiles they got their satellites out of space with, with, with uh, weapons on them that weaponize, okay? They got these space force such as America. And all that is set up for Yahweh Shai when he returned to bring judgment, man, okay? The war against these nations starting with Esau, Edom. And he's going to come back in a, in a, 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 a angelic, as an angelic force, man, okay? Then you got talks to Esau saying that these chariots are so advanced that they can't even compare. Like I said, they can't even compare their weapons. These heathen, they can't compare their weapons to the power that these so-called UFOs have. 
okay? Because once again, they're from the spiritual realm, okay? They're from the top level of all power, man. The power of Yahweh Bashim was shot. A power that they're not going to be able to stop, man. Okay, as I continue on to, uh, let me get this. Let me continue on in the scriptures. That's it on Psalm 68, verse 17. Now I'm going to go to the book of Zechariah, verse 5. Okay, because mainly when Yahweh shall return, man, the main destruction and deliverance is going to be here in America. Okay, and it's, it's going to enter into Esau, Edom, come upon, you know, as a whole of Esau, Edom, because he's ruling the whole earth. But the main destruction is going to take place here in America. Now, this is Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Okay, that's another way of saying a so-called UFO, okay, a chariot. This was Zechariah saw in his vision. Okay, or at that time. No, he actually saw these chariots or a or chariot. And he said unto me, What says thou? And I answered, and I see a flying robe. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Verse 3. Then say unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. Yeah, kind of, so these chariots, when they come back to bring destruction, it's going to be a curse upon the earth. Okay, mainly to these nations, okay, in their military, okay, can they come back to bring judgment? And it says, and it says, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And I will bring it forth, say the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Okay, so who's the thief? Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, starting with the elites. Because they got, they got everything by deceit and by bloodshed through the blessing, which is what where they what they, they swore. They, uh, mainly their military might at this time. How did they get America? Okay, they stole this land. Okay, from the northern kingdom. Okay, mainly the, uh, the Native Americans and the Seminole Indians. Okay, the Mexican Indians, okay, and, uh, and then this whole Western Hemisphere, Americas, they stole this 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 side of the region, okay, okay, by by the force of their sword, okay. So th that's what it says. It shall enter into the house of the thief, okay, and they say it shall cut off all those that steal it, and that swear falsely, okay, because after Esau Edom stole this this land. Okay, where well he said that the, the Bible is the law of the land, that they're the Lord chosen people. Okay, that the, the that the Bible is is for them. Okay, that they're the, the, the Christians, the most high and the son look like them. Okay. So Yahweh Bashim is gonna bring judgment upon them for those wicked deeds, man. Okay, for the iniquities that they had caused and what they have done unto us, the Israelites, okay. Okay, because they also what stole the the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the so-called black tribes, and they brought us over here to serve captivity and to shed our blood. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Shah coming back to avenge his people and uh uh and and, and and how they blaspheme against him, his son, the angels, and his words, man. Okay. With the with the the um uh iconoclasm whitewashing of the image of the lord and his uh the most high and the sun the angels us okay so that's done swearing falsely man saying that they're the god chosen people but they're nothing but the wicked and the devil that the bible speak of and the lord is going to show them when he bring that judgment upon them when yahweh shall return and take down their they they kingdom uh let me see and it says, um, verse 4, Zechariah chapter 5, verse 4, And I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Okay, going into that destruction, when Yahweh shall send those laser beams out of those chariots, destroying, you know, people, 
buildings, cars, okay? Anything that the Lord desired when it comes to those chariots, he tell them to hit their target with those laser beams, it's gonna disintegrate, okay? The, that, that, that person or whatever the Lord tell it to hit, man, okay? America as a, as a whole, right along with those thermonuclear missiles, that's gonna leave America totally desolate, okay? Uh, let me go to the book of, let me see, Isaiah chapter, okay, as I make mention, man, how will y'all come back to take you Edomites out of power, man? And it's going to start with him visiting, okay, uh, uh, coming over from the, to the Middle East to fight against these nations, military, and going to come and enter into the house of the thief which is uh, uh, America, okay? Which is America is Esau Edom stronghold when it comes to his kingdom, okay? Because this is where he really got his riches and his wealth and his power off of, okay? The success of the Edomites taking over us over here in America, okay? And prospering off our captivity. This is... um. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Basra? And the America is the modern day Basra, okay? Because Basra was known as the capital city of, I believe, uh, of, of Mount Seir, okay? Okay, where they originally habitated from, okay? Mount Seir, Mount Petra, okay? Who is this that cometh from Edom, Edom with thy garments? From Basra, that this is that glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Okay, that's Yahweh Shah coming back in this uh, glorious power, those chariots. Okay, and it says, and it says, um, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. He's only going to save the elect at that time. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and the garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Okay, that's meant represent the destruction that the Lord is going to bring. Okay, which is the bloodshed that Yahweh Shah is going to bring by the way of those chariots. Okay, through those, through those laser beams. Verse three: I had trodden the wine press alone, and the up uh, and the and the and the and of the people there was none with me, for I would tread them in my anger. Trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. They're going to the Lord bringing his judgment, man. Verse 4 For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. And come, so that's the Lord about to bring judgment. And no other nation can do nothing about it. These false gods, these idols that this world uphold. That give reverence to that's not they're not going to be able to save you in that day because why because they don't exist and you how about shy it's the supreme power man and the energy that our people give to these false gods and idols okay and the world give into they are uh the 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 spiritual demon satan okay and the demons under him okay they get their power from the heavenly father and his son you how about shy is over the left hand side Okay, so in that time, the right hand side is going to be manifest, man. When, okay, to its fullest. When Yahweh Shah return to bring down these nations, to bring war, to bring destruction, and to set up uh, his kingdom here on the earth and, and, and the nation of Israel being joint heirs. Start with the elect. So that's it on that. Let me get um the book of Zephaniah. So this is what you're seeing now that Yahweh Shah is about to gather the nations, these heathen nations, and the ones of our people that join hand in hand with their military. He's about to gather them, okay, in the Middle East, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, meaning in the Hebrew, Yahweh Shapat, meaning the Most High Judgment. That's why you're seeing things getting hot. Okay, watch this such why it's such a hot zone over there in the Middle East. Okay, tensions between Iran and Israel, over there in Afghanistan now, Iraq, Pakistan, Syria, 
okay? Uh, 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 Saudi Arabia, they in that region over there in the Middle East, that when the Lord is going to allow and gather all these nations for World War III, okay? When you have a shot return to fight against these nations' military. That's why America over there so, so much, man. Now, let me get it. This is the book of... Let me get there. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, say the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And that's what we're waiting on, okay? The hopeful elect, okay? You're waiting on Yahweh Shemal Shah to rise up against the prey. And our main primary enemy is Esau Edom and the rest of these heathen nations. And right now, two-thirds of our people that join hand-in-hand -hand with these heathens start with American military, man, okay? Because when Yahweh Shah fight against these nations, army, okay, their military, majority of our people that's going to be over there fighting for Esau, Edom, fighting this war, okay, they're going to be destroyed by Yahweh Shah, their own power, man. And it says, continue on, therefore, wait ye upon me, say the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, okay? To pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's gonna to come to in the, during the time of World War III. And yet in the Most High Yahweh, when the sin of son Yahweh Shai, to fight against these nations' armies, okay? In the Middle East. And like I said, then the Yahweh Shah is going to make his way from the Middle East over here to the Western Hemisphere to destroy America. Okay? While those missiles are going to be launched. And the Lord zapping, bringing fire to the earth and to these nations. Okay? Now let me get that in Revelation. Okay? Chapter 19. Verse 11, and it says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Okay, and that white horse represent pure power. White means pure, horse means power. Okay, and that's going into that chariot that Yahweh Shah is going to come in. Okay, the big fathership, the so called, the biggest UFO that these people are going to see, man. Okay, once again, Yahweh Shah is going to come back in that angelic power, that pure power. Okay, that's what it's going into. And I saw heaven open, and he's going to be coming from the heaven, okay, from the spiritual realm, out of the sky, he, okay, like we always say, he's going to crack those clouds or crack the sky, okay, that most people like to scoff and scorn when we bring up the, the prophecy of Yahweh Shah returning with the chariots out of the sky, okay, that's why another reason why I call it what, clouds, okay, because he's actually going to, he actually going to come from out of the heavens, okay. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he do judge and make war. His eyes was a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Kind of that, his eyes was a flame of fire, represent the fury, the anger that Yahweh Shah is going to return in to bring judgment, okay, by those chariots, by the way of fire once again. And it says what? And on his head was many crowns, representation of how the Lord is going to take down all these nations, all these heathen nations, okay? When he returned to establish his kingdom, the kingdom of Israel, and all these nations are going to be under us in our kingdom, starting with Esau, Edom, of these elites, okay? On down. And it says, continue on. And it says, and he had a name written that no man knew, but himself, okay, but we know the name, the name is Yahweh Shai, okay, because majority of the people on the earth, they don't know the true name of the of the Lord who the world calls Christ, okay, we know this name in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, meaning he is the deliverer, and in the, in the Heavenly Father name, who the world calls God, his name is Yahweh, meaning that he is, or he is this, okay, and it says, verse 13, and he was clothed with a vexure dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God, because he's a representation of the Heavenly Father and of this Word, okay? The Holy Scriptures is representation of 
Yahweh Shai. And he is the word, okay? So that's what it's going into. That's the title, the word of God. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. They're going into the, the rest of the angels, okay? The rest of the innumerable angels that Yahweh Shai is going to come with, okay? That's going to follow him, his armies, okay? To bring war against these nations, these heathen nations, military, which is their army, okay? And it says, verse 15, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it it shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he shall tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty. Okay, so that's the point I wanted to get right there, that Yahweh was shot. Is going to return to bring war against these nations. And he's going to tinkle down, okay, with the chariots, okay? And also as those missiles are going to be launched. Now, let me get this to Second Edges, because Second Edges, thir the 13th chapter, okay, represent the vision that Edges saw as well when Yahweh shall return and going to fight against these nations here in this time that we're approaching. So this is prophecy that Edges has seen, just as John, the revelator, has seen. This is 2nd Andrew chapter 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days, I dream a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. Okay, once again, as John said, okay, he's seen Yahweh Shah coming on the white horse, and, that, and, the, and the, the, the white horses, the armies that followed him. Okay, so... Edris giving, Edris giving the same dep depiction, okay, or the same vision, okay, from his from his view. And I be and I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, okay. The word wax means to grow. He he grows stronger, okay. When he, when you know those angels, with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his consciousness to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him, okay. They're going back into what Revelation, the, the first chapter, verse seven. Okay, how the, the kin, all kindreds of the earth well because of him. Okay, because that's the time that the Lord's going to be bringing judgment, man. Okay, and it says, all the things trembled that were seen under him, and when so and when so ever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice going into those going into those uh, laser beams out of the chariots. Okay, that's going to be the voice. Like as the earth filleth when it filleth the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was a gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. They kind of, you know, they're going into those nations, military, the armies. Okay, in that time of World War III, okay, when the Yahweh Shah, they're going to be fighting against each other. And Yahweh Shah is going to intervene, make his uh, second coming, okay, coming from the heavens, and they're going to stop the fight against Yahweh Shai and the angels, okay, because the Lord is going to set it up that way, just to, to, to show his power, okay, and it says, and to subdue the man that came out of the sea, and the sea represent the heavens, okay, and it says, but I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain, okay, going into that fathership, okay, the biggest chariot, that's going to be in the, in, 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 the, in the heavens, man. Okay? It looked it, like a mountain that was graved out of the ground. That what Ezra was going into. That how large it was. And it flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place without the hill was driven. And I could not. Because it was actually a, a chariot. Okay? The biggest chariot. Which Yahweh Shah is going to return in once again. And after this I beheld and lo. All that which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, yet this fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lift up his hand, nor held sword, nor any shrit, nor any instrument of war. They come because Yahweh Shah is not going to return in the form of war as the modern day technology when it comes to war, when it comes to these, once again, these fighter jets, okay, these, um, satellites that's out of space that got that's that's weaponized okay 
uh, these uh, missiles, uh, tanks, submarines, okay, these Navy ships, okay. He's not going to come back in that, that form or way. He's coming back with that angelic power, man, okay, straight spiritual power. And it says, but only I saw he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, okay? Going into how you have a shot gonna, uh, and the chair is going to bring fire, those lasers. And they, were, and, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, the great tempest, and fell with the violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight, okay, and burned them up, everyone, so that upon, so upon a sudden of a noble multitude, nothing was to pre, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smoke. I mean, dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I were afraid. Okay, so that's going into Yahweh Shah straight. Hey, disintegrating them, man. Okay, they, 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 they fighter jets, they, uh, uh tanks. Okay. Hey, the Lord gonna turn into powder. He gonna turn into smoke by those laser beams out of the chariots. So that's it on that. And like I said, in the meantime, hey, the Yahweh is gonna be bringing salvation to the elect. And let me get that. Okay. This is. Um, I start off with the book of, let me see, uh, I start off with Matthew, the 24th chapter, Matthew, the 24th chapter, chap, uh, chapter 24, verse 30. This is red letter, meaning Yahweh Shah spoke these words. And it says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Okay, those chariots. Okay, then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay, so Yahweh Shah talking about, was talking about future prophecy, which we're in this time now, approaching this time now. Okay, so the time is going to come when Yahweh Shah is going to uh, make his second coming, man. And it says, continue on, verse 31, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, that they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, so the, the Lord going to deliver the elect worldwide. Okay, wherever the elect is at, because we are scattered amongst all nations. And Yahweh Shemal Shah has wakened the elect, okay, from amongst all nations. And, you know, in the main deliverance is going to be taking place here in America because this is where the main destruction is going to take place. Okay, when Yahweh Shah come back with the host of angels to bring fire and as well, those missiles, okay, that's going to be launched, going to destroy this place by the hands of Russia, China, Iran, okay, even NATO, their own allies going to turn on this place and send fire, those missiles upon this place. Okay, and it's going to be a nuclear war. You're going to have missiles being launched all, all throughout the different parts of the earth. Okay, but the main destruction of thermonuclear missiles and by the way of fire, also by the way of those chariots, is going to be here, America. And let me get on this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 1. And it says, And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven. Having a great, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, "Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and it's become the habitation of devils, and the hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird." And Babylon once again is America, okay. And in that time, okay, when the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shah destroyed this place, okay, by the way of fire, nothing's going to inhabit this place, but wild desert creatures okay birds okay mainly you know birds okay desert creatures because america is going to be turned into a desert after the the fire and the smoke clear okay after a time after time okay 
So that's the future of America. And this place is once again going to never be inhabited by man again. It's going to be turned into a, a memorial of example of wickedness and what not to do. Verse 3, for all nations had drunk of the wine of a wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth had committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of a delicacy. Okay, so that's going into America, man, because all nations today have got rich off America. Okay, mainly by the, the, the ways of what? Of us, man. The, the hard labor of the Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. Okay, the Israelites that's over here in America. Okay, so that's what that's going into. But the point is verse 4. And it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Okay, come. That going into the ultimate plague, those missiles, and Yahweh Shai bringing fire, okay, by those chariots. And when it says, Come out of her, my people, meaning that the, uh, the Lord is going to beamed up, okay, the elect from out of America into those chariots. So they won't get caught up into the destruction, okay, from those missiles. And it says, continue on. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Okay, so that's it on that. And so that's what the Lord is going to do for the elect. And that's what we're hoping to be part of, man. Okay, that we're doing to the end. Okay, that the Lord have his covering on us. Okay, in the time of Jacob's trouble, and we endure all the way to the end and to, and to see the glorious return of Yahweh Shai and that we be worthy to be delivered, to be beamed up, okay? When Yahweh Shai come at that moment. And I'm going to get um, you know, a couple of scriptures proving that Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect by those chariots. Okay, at the same time, he's going to be bringing destruction, but he's going to be bringing salvation. This is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. Okay, another way of saying the chariots. Okay. Shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the end of nation be overpassed. Okay, so the Lord is going to deliver his elect into those chambers. Okay, the chariots by beaming them up. Okay, and they're going to be delivered. From the indignation of the Lord, meaning the righteous anger, that judgment that Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to bring here upon America, okay? And they're going to be delivered from out of America and wherever the elect is scattered to be beamed up. Um, Let me get um, the book of Job. Chapter 5. Verse um, 19, and it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in the seventh, there shall no evil touch thee. Okay, so we enter into the time of the sixth trouble, the sixth trumpet, where you stand all hell is about to break loose. But it said that he shall deliver thee in six trouble, and yea, no, and that the seventh trouble, meaning the seventh trumpet, the complete uh, destruction of this place. The Lord said, no evil shall touch thee, okay, meaning that the elect is going to be beamed up into those chariots and being delivered from the destruction, okay, that Lord is going to bring to America out of that, you know, that fire. So that's it on that. Let me see, um, and I'll get ready to close out and just get a couple of more scriptures going into how the Lord is going to deliver the elect. This is, um, let me go to Peter. This is First Peter, chapter 4, verse um, 18. And it says, If the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So it says, if the righteous scarcely be saved, okay? Because at that time, after all that, during the times of Jacob's trouble, Okay, the time of martial law, famine, those plagues hitting, and Yahweh Shah finally come. At the same time, you're going to have those missiles being launched, and Yahweh Shah bringing so much destruction. And the, the elect is going to be beamed up into those chariots. At the same time, those missiles coming, 
meaning that the righteous are going to scarcely be saved, man. Okay? And it says, but where should the, okay, the, uh, and it says, but if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear? Okay? The ones that's not going to make it. Two-thirds of our people right along with these heathens. Okay? So they're going to be destroyed. But the righteous scarcely is going to be saved. Okay? The elect being delivered. So that's it on that. And I, you know, I end off with this. I'm going to go to the book of the Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have, have afflicted him. And made no count of his labors. Okay, and that's going into the elect, taking that bold stand. Going out there pushing the word. Okay, his prophets doing the ministry on the highways and byways. Uploading the videos. Constantly being prosecuted. Demonized. Okay, false accused. Okay. Hey, but how about Shema Shah is going to reward his elect for that, man. Those that endure to the end. Okay, the ones that's in the work. And having faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai, the believers. And it says, And made no count of his labors. And when they shall see it, they shall be troubled with the terrible fear, fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Or con, because they're going to be a, in the fear, man. Okay? At the strange salvation, man. Okay? Far beyond what all they look for, man. Because when they uh bring that deliverance, okay, and they're going to see nothing but Negro, Latino, Native Americans mainly being beamed up, okay, and there's only going to be a few, okay, and those that descended out of that bloodline being beamed up, and their people going to be in a, a, a state of fear and amazement, okay? This is going to be a, a, a magnificent work and power that Yahweh Shemal Shah never put on display before, man. Okay, he's saying that the time of this deliverance is going to triumph the deliverance from the time of ancient Egypt, uh, ancient Egypt, man. We was delivered out of the hands of the Egyptians, okay, during the, the, the lead of Moses and Aaron, okay? This is going to trump that, man, okay? Hey, so that's what we're looking forward to, man, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here and pray that this lesson may edify. Once again, hey, the chariots of the Lord is going to bring destruction. For salvation as well, man. And we praying to Yahweh Shemal Shah that we be found worthy to be part of that hopeful elect to be delivered, and that we working out our salvation. Okay, to be partaker, partakes of being in those chariots, man. When Yahweh Shah return, okay. So brothers and sisters out there, keep fighting, keep pushing, okay. Keep maintaining the faith, okay. Keep praying for you know for you know praying to the Lord, praying for one another, okay. Keep um uh. uh Sighing and crying, man. Because Yahweh Bashim al Shah is definitely working on our behalf, man. As long as we endure to the end, these same things are happening. We coming to that point of Jacob of trouble, but the Lord said, What? He shall be delivered out of it. And that's the elect, okay? The believers. So once again, I hope this lesson is edifying. Till next time, I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. The salutation also to the fellow laborers and the believers that's out there uh, pushing the word worldwide and exalting Yahweh Shah in all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Until the next time, Shalom.